All right, hello and welcome. So, Chroma Deluxe skin finally dropped, so let's take a look at this dang thing, huh? Uh, so, first things first, the very big important thing, to me anyway, uh, this is the basic look of the skin. So, the thing I don't like about this skin are these wings here. Don't think the wings look great. Thankfully, they're an auxiliary slot and can be removed if you don't like them, which is wonderful and removes my problem with this skin, because I really just don't like the wings. Everything else about this skin looks pretty damn great. Uh, I am going to leave the wings on just so you can see how they color whenever we go through a bunch of color selections, but they are removable, which is real good news for me. Uh, also, obviously, they will they will clip with most Sandanas, but not all of them, like not the Telos, uh, and I don't think they clean, uh, clip with like the Misa or the Udyat. There's a couple. Like, you can fit some in there. Uh, this this one kind of fits, um, but yeah, you have a, a good choice of Sandana because you can remove the wings, or you can like merge them with it, just do just do heavy clipping, like I guess if you really wanted to. So having that option there is really awesome. Uh, besides that, this the skin itself looks really nice. Uh, we're gonna go into Captura and show how he looks without his uh, armor and stuff whenever he's using his four and all that. Um, but first. Let's go through a bunch of different colors so you guys can see how he colors. I think he colors pretty well. The only thing that is, like, not so great is... Not that one. That one's actually fine. Uh, his primary, his, like, undersuit color. I don't think that this... Like, it... I don't know. It, there's some, It's mostly whenever the armor's off of him that you mostly want to have this matching whatever your armor color is, I think. Because if you don't... Uh, then Chroma, without his pelt, ends up looking like a big nerd. So, keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, let's look at some of these colors. Uh, and it's worth noting, as you can see, if I go to Attachments... Uh, his wings are uh, colored based off his primary, which I think is actually good, because then you can have uh, those two things separate. And generally, the these will match up with what you're putting on the base skin. So you, it doesn't matter what you have in your uh, auxiliary slots uh, or your um, other attachment slots, rather, because those can be all colored by this separately, which is really nice. Uh, I think that's a really nice advantage. And it, it just colors nicely. It's got really good materials. Uh... And I think it looks really nice. So let's go back to default and enter Captura real quick. Uh, and then we can show what he looks like without his pelt. And then we can look at this um, this this great sword a little bit and talk about a thing with that. Okay, so here he is. Uh, we can get a very nice look at him. Very nice looking. Like, not much more to be said besides, like, it's a, it's a good looking chroma here. You know what? Let's, let's get rid of all this grain. It's a good-looking chroma. Very nice. You can see the sword skin. Also, very, very nice. Really good-looking. Uh, now, here's the bad thing. If you, if you don't match your undercolor with the overcolor, I feel like chroma without his pelt kind of looks like a big nerd. Like, I don't know. Something about him just screams big nerd to me. I don't know what it is. Like, he looks all right. Like, it's not bad. I just feel like he's a big nerd. That's just my impression that I get from this. Uh, whenever you have, like, the same base color, though, like, I'm, I'm using black on black on the um, uh, the one that I customized, which I'll show in a moment. Um, yeah, I just feel like he doesn't... <laughs> he's not as imposing as Chroma maybe should feel, I guess. Uh, this armor stuff looks awesome, like, as this. It's got, like, these really rad wings uh, that are changed up, and it's, it's good that this all transfers over. Uh, so that stuff is really nice. I think he looks great for it. Uh, in his... With this. Uh, with his three, this is what it looks like on there. It only covers his uh, underbody and does not go over the armor, uh, which is worth noting. And then with his two, uh, I have fire on right now. Uh, with ice, it will cover the armor. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like with fire. Uh, with, with ice, there's that, that sheet of ice that goes over your entire body that does cover this armor, if anyone was wondering. All right, so this is the chroma that I have customized out, and I think he ended up looking really, really nice. Uh, some of the armor placement is a little weird. Uh, for example, I was going to put the armor I used on chroma before, which was the Rivalite, but I think it looks a little weird because you've got just 
too much spiky stuff going on. Uh, so I settled for the Targus, and I think he ended up looking fantastic. Uh, using the Psycuta Sigil to, like, fill in his chest cavity and stuff uh, ended up looking really nice, I think. Uh, and that stuff's fantastic. Uh, before we move on, let's look at this new skin. Uh, we'll jump over to this and... So I can do some random colors. Uh, and default colors looks like this. I think it looks pretty nice. It's really good. It's very large. Maybe not large enough, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but we're going to go through some colors and how this thing looks. It colors very similarly to Chroma himself. It, it's, it's very nice. It is a very, very nice blade. Uh, it'll work on any heavy blade. So all your Galatine Prime, your regular Galatine, whatever you got. Any heavy blade it applies to. Uh, there's a very specific heavy blade that I really like it on that we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it's great. It colors really well. The one kind of problem I have uh, is that it has two metallic channels. Uh, so it has tertiary and accents. Like, these are metallic and these are metallic, which is fine. And, like, it's not a big deal, but I kind of would have preferred if those were together to have, like, another channel for... Um, this part, which is both the kind of orbs on the outside and the parts that connect to the blade, maybe separating those up would have been slightly better. Uh, that being said, it still colors really, really well, and I like it a hell of a lot. Uh, so, with that, we have one more thing to discuss with this. If you're using a Zenistar... Oops, can't spell. If you're using a Zenistar, it's big. It's a, it's a, it's a big boy sword. It's the, it's the size that I want. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know this is a bug. It is a bug. Like, that's what it is. But it should be a feature. Like, let's go into Capture real quick. It's real good. Like, this is... This is the size of blade I'm looking for. Like, maybe... Maybe instead of this being, like, fixed, quote-unquote, fixed... Can this be a feature? Could this be a feature, please? Like, all I'm saying... All I'm saying is if you want this to be a feature, maybe you should, like, tweet at the devs or whatever and be like, hey, that shouldn't be a bug. We should have, like, normal-sized and super-sized for the skin. Because it's just a scale up, and, like, you don't hold it quite right, but honestly, I'm not that worried about it. When you're swinging it around, you can't tell. It just looks fucking sick. I love it. It is awesome. Like, I have a personal bias towards only the largest and most badass swords. Like, let's be real. But this is, this is the size I want. This, this is, this is the, this is the correct great, like, this is a great sword, motherfucker. This is, this is the shit right here. Like, this skin, I'm not gonna lie. Because, like, Chroma right now is, like, alright. Like, he's, he's a decent Warframe and he can get some shit done. Like, you can, you can pretty, like, you can do some missions with Chroma. He wants a bit of Forma, but you can kind of do whatever you want with Chroma. He's not bad. Like, he's not one of the best Warframes in the game either. That shit's kind of irrelevant. If you like Chroma, you're probably going to get this skin. If you don't, then maybe not. But, if you like Heavy Blades, which is, like, top tier, like, classification of melee weapon, this is the shit right here. Like, this is, this is what's up. This is a thing I need. Th please let this be a feature. Like, I hope I'm not the only one that thinks this. This should be a thing that we can all enjoy. On any, like, I want to put this on a Galatine. That's what I would, I need that. I, personally, like, I'm going to use the Zenistar just because it looks like this. It's the best. I, I love it. Like, I cannot, I cannot express enough how much I want this to be on all of the Heavy Blades as an option. Like, let it be normal sized and, like, the intended model size for the people that want it. Absolutely. And then a scaled up version. Like, the mega size. Like, this is, this is like, Monster Hunter tier. Awesome. So, I just, I just want, I don't know. I'm like, uh, uh man. It's, uh, look at this. Look at this sword. Look at how big and powerful this sword looks. I love it. I abs, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of this exact thing. It's so nice. Uh, so that's enough gushing. The skin's great. I think it came out great. Uh, I think it's, like, worth it. I think it's definitely worth, like, the 225 Platinum for the bundle. Uh, I think that it's a good price for, like, how nice this skin looks and how well it colors. Uh, and this, like, this is a skin you can get a lot of use out of because Heavy Blades are great. The, the only thing that I want changed is I want this bug to become a feature, which is, like, hey... It's happened before. Bugs have become features in the past. Why can't this one? Uh, so yeah. 
Yeah, that's Chroma Deluxe. And for anyone that is looking for a build for Chroma, uh, I do have a video on it that's separate if you want to see it in action. But if anyone's looking for a build, I'll just show you mine real quick. Uh, yes, if you're just looking for a generalized build. Yeah, this... Oh, the Mega Blade. I love it. I love the Mega Blade. Yeah, and then this is the build that I'm generally using on Chroma. It has done very, very well for me in the past. I need to add a Forma to this to add Prime Vigor instead of Regular Vigor. Uh, and you can totally just use Vitality, uh, and that will work out just fine if you are not worried about hitting your cap with your shields uh, on the, like the first pass through of your shields. Uh, but yeah, really, real good skin. I want this bug to be a feature so bad. So bad. So bad. Oh. But yeah, that's the Chroma Deluxe skin. I'll see you guys tomorrow.